Today we'll be looking at the Catalina 25 Rudder Gungeon Replacement. Uh, here's the transom of the Catalina 25 um, and the two gudgeons we're going to replace here. On our boat, the lower gungeon was uh, accessed from uh, the rear quarter berth uh, through the access hatch. And uh, what we found was a uh, piece of bar stock that was threaded that uh, had some uh, nylon nuts on it. So once we pulled these nylon nuts off, uh, we were able to go back to the outside and with a screwdriver and uh, a vice grip, we were able to kind of back those out a little bit. You good? Yeah. Why didn't you do this? And here you can see the lower gungeon has been removed with the quarter inch uh, bolts uh, that came out with it. And we've got it in here on the workbench. Uh, there's the uh, brass bar stock that's uh, got the threads tapped in it and uh, the old gungeon uh, right next to the new one uh, that we got from Catalina Direct. To access the upper gungeon, uh, you've got to cut a hole in the combing of the cockpit here. Uh, there's no other way around it. So we measured down uh, and it was uh, about six inches uh, from the lip there, and then found the center of the cockpit. That's the center. We're drilling the pilot hole here, and uh, when we've got that put in, uh, we're just gonna make way for the five and a half inch hole saw. And we're gonna work through the hole saw here and uh, get that access to the, uh, the back of the gudgeon. And you can see up there uh, near the lip is where we removed the data plate uh, for the boat. We pulled the guide bit out of the hole saw so that we wouldn't drill through the bar stock on the back end. So it doesn't hit the back. Okay. Get it in there nice and even. We're pretty close. So we've got access to the back of that gungeon, so we're going to back those nuts off just like we did uh, down below and uh, pull that old gungeon out of there. Uh, you can see right there with the wafer that we pulled out, it's nice and dry um, in there. looks like kind of two foam. main layers um, foam core. Looks like between the, three layers. the outer fiberglass layers. Fiberglass it's pretty dry in there. Fiberglass foam in there. Well, that's it. The new gungeons here with the new bolts, uh, stainless steel, quarter inch, uh, number 20 thread. Uh, the bottom takes inch and a half in length and the top takes two inches in length. Uh, we uh, wrapped them in butyl tape because we're going to be pulling them off uh, this fall when we paint the boat. Uh, here's our buddy Ed here uh, driving those things in. I was able to get them uh, set right, back so in I'm going to the threaded bar set it stop. On here. Okay, go ahead and try with the middle one. And we're back down on the lower gungeon uh, in the rear quarter berth here, just repeating the process. Okay, yeah, keep going. Yeah, I think so. Sure. I'm going up to my 
It'll probably be the one that's turning. Yeah, it's biting pretty good, Ed. What? It's biting pretty good. No, not anymore since they're in. How many centimeters do you have for it? Do you want? We want to snug it up. It's similar to a, a tire where you want to keep moving. Yeah. All right, to wrap up the lower dungeon here, we're just putting the new stainless nuts on just to make sure those uh, new bolts don't back out of the uh, bar stock there. just wasn't making sense if it if they were last part of the project here is our deck plate this is a five oceans five inch deck plate that we got and we ended up uh, attaching it with uh, some number eight stainless bolts and uh, lock washer and a nylon nut on the back and just uh, went around and pop those things in again with butyl tape because we're going to be painting the boat soon all right now we're ready to put the new rudder craft rudder on the boat and try that out and uh, get it in the water for the season let us know what you think and uh, we'll see you out there <laughs>